these advanced and special technologies are compacted in the Gokiso hub to minimize the rotation friction and restrain the shaft vibration. This is the most common type of hub structure known as the cup and cone. The cup and cone structure is a simple structure. It has a single bearing mounted angle on the right and left of the hub. In general, when you ride on a bicycle, a shaft becomes deflected by the rider weight. Furthermore, the load applied to the shaft during cycling becomes twice or three times heavier than the weight and cycle weight combined. This creates a torsion in the upper and lower bearing. Therefore, if a wheel continues to rotate, it generates a severe stress to the steel bearing balls. And these bearing balls are more and more compressed. The compressed bearing balls promote abrasion and create an on-brake condition, which in turn generates heat and shortens the hub life. The solution to these problems is Gokuso's original and new structure, which was inspired by an aircraft jet engine. When you look at the front wheel drawing of the Gokuso hub, you will see clearly that the hub structure is completely different from any other hubs available in the market. Two bearings are mounted side by side on each side of the hub. These bearings have a so-called deep-grooved sealed structure. The bearings with this kind of structure are often seen in machine tools. This structure helps to minimize the rotation vibration and contributes to the smooth bearing performance with little friction. The outer bearing has an elastic suspension which absorbs impact from road surface. You will see long oval shaped bores on the bearings. This steel tube acts as a spring in the bearing. With this spring mechanism, the steel tube absorbs an outer energy applied from up and down and stabilizes the bearing so that it does not disturb the rotation performance. Another sophisticated feature of the Gokuso hub, which contributes to its superior performance, is a spherical nut and washer. This structure adjusts the angle of the shaft while it is installed to a frame. This is what happens when you install a wheel to a fork in a conventional hub. Tension created by a quick lever during the installation causes deflection on the shaft during the installation. A bicycle fork is usually shaped like an inverted V. When installing a hub to the bicycle, forcing the hub to fit the angle of the fork, this creates unnecessary pressure or holdback force to the shaft. If the bicycle runs under such forced conditions, it creates more pressure to the bearing, meaning that the bearing is always working under the on-brake condition. With the Gokiso hub, on the other hand, the washer moves along the spherical surface and absorbs the flange deformation along the frame. It keeps the shaft literally up straight. There are many other original features employed in the Gokiso hub. For example, the shaft stiffness is five times stronger than conventional shafts. The material of the Gokiso hub is the so-called Extra Super Duralim. This high-quality material has been widely used in the aerospace industry. And our advanced technology for the minimum rotary resistance and enhanced durability. The Gokiso hub runs free from vibration, even at a 200 km per hour cruising speed. Enjoy the flying start, smooth speed-ups and steady cycling speed and comfort riding. Although the hub has the weight of 240 grams in front, 
and 455 grams at the rear, it actually feels very light when riding. The Gokiso Hub creates the lightest riding experience in the world.